So today I had some free time since I haven't gotten a home of Bella's mom yet, but she has seen the text earlier I texted her because right now me and Bella might be working on a fun project that big and will hopefully help get like right now in the moment I my goal right now because I'm we're thinking about it and and I kind of want to set a goal of like how many subscribers to reach and I want the first one to be kind of smaller but still a good amount so our first goal is a hundred so that I can mark it off of I have like these lists that at the beginning of the year I created and then I created one not too long ago, a couple weeks ago. Of like goals that I like want to reach and I like get to mark them off and stuff as I reach them. And one of them is to hit a hundred. So that's our first goal. Then from there we'll upgrade it and it will keep going up but my dream right now is I really want to get at least to a thousand, like a thousand or past. It's like my ultimate goal just because with a thousand subscribers, it means that I actually will be getting paid to do something that I love so much. Like, you guys don't understand how much I love this, but, um... I want to go ahead and film for you guys and get, like, fine, like, get started because I figured I'm probably going to need a notebook. So, I have, like, two different options here. I have this one. I have another one that was an original songwriting notebook. Wait, let me see what this one says. And then, so yeah, this one's going to work, which I love, because, and then we have this one, but I'm thinking of saving it for a future, because, only because this was a roommate agreement, but I took the first two pages out. For those who don't know what happened. When I was little, me and my family pretty much, or me and my parents, and even now my dog, Sam, and love the Big Bang Theory. Like, it's a TV show, and I always loved Sheldon. He's, like, always been my favorite in the show. Like, I love him. And in the show, Sheldon is, like, the really smart, like, scientist and stuff. But in the show... He, in the show, he created a thing called the Roommate Agreement, which was like a book of rules that Leonard, or his roommate, or, but like, or his apartment mate, or housemate, you would say, because they don't share a room, you know, like... Um, I, like, right after I started really watching it, I created one, and since then, a lot has happened. And then it got switched over to this notebook. And it was, like, random room for, like, my dad. Like, I, but now, I mainly keep it in my head. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so, like, it's just a funny joke. But I took the first two pages out, which were the only ones with any, so I could use it. Because, at, like, I want to say, like, right after we moved in, we went shopping and got a bunch of, like, notebooks and stuff for school. And then, 
we end up not using them and the reasoning behind it is my dad never had been the notebook type. Like he does other ways. Like instead of using a notebook, uh when we do math, we use a dry erase board. Or instead of like like we just don't use notebooks, okay? Like we literally use a dry erase board and the only homework that I ever get is reading because that's something that like is homework because he's not like the overload homework type partly because he knows that my mom is like my mom like when I was little I used to get like an hour or two hours worth of homework sometimes and my dad got so annoyed with that and then her reasoning would be even well, though she's supposed to be in school five hours Yes, because that is how long public school is. But she's not. She's in for two hours. So give her lots of homework and stuff. And he's like, even then, like, I live a unique life. And that's one of the things about homeschool that I really like. Unfortunately, that probably won't be continuing. Well, it will for the rest of this year and pretty soon. We are getting the end of the year test, and then after that, summer break. Which my mom never gave me summer break, and I hated it so bad. My mom, the reasoning was because I'm, she's like, why waste time when you could be learning instead? And like, why like waste time that you could be learning, but instead you're not, you're getting like three months off of school for absolutely nothing like my mom never liked summer break and she got so annoyed when my dad made the decision that he was going to do summer break but then she kind of got to the point where she was like well she had no choice but to just go with it because you know but I'm excited right now. So right now I want to like film and update you on stuff. Like, so yeah, I'm very excited for right now. A lot of fun things are happening. A lot of like changes are happening. And then, so yeah. Unfortunately, really soon, and I'm going to be on a new medicine. And we're hoping we can put in my juice. Because if we don't, it can be a nightmare for me. Because one thing about me is that I hate liquid medicine because of the taste. And I hate, absolutely hate pills. To the point where I think maybe one time I, when I was really little, oh, I took a pill. And that, like, because, you know, it was part of my medicine and my mom wouldn't let me go without taking it and then and then they changed the look of it like they changed the look or something no the color or and instead of making it like before it was just like white but then they made it like colorful so different ones were different color and since then I have not taken it since and don't worry, it goes in my juice. And my mom learned that it can be hard if that's the case. Because I don't really like taking pills. I don't know what it is. But for some reason, my body's like, nope, you are not doing it. But at this point, I might have to. We'll see, because I am anemic. And, and so the one downside to it is that if it ends up taking a pill, that's two pills every day. That's a lot. And like one bad enough, two not so But also, there is also, I can't have milk like an, until at least an hour after. So my dad is stabbing. What we'll do is. And I, he'll let me, like, finish breakfast first because I have 
a plain smoothie with breakfast, which has milk in it. And then, and that's when I'll take the first one. And then the second one we'll do right before bed because, yeah. Like, that way we know that I'm not having milk for, like, more than an hour because I'll be watching a movie and then going to sleep or something. <laughs> so, yeah, right now I'm hoping to get a hold of them um, because we need to. The thing with this project, I'm going to tell you a little bit but not much, is that right now, we kind of have a start of an idea of like what we're going for, or I do anyways. But I have to still bring it up with Bella, and it's happening with or without Bella. I'm like, if Bella decides, I'm going to actually straight up tell her this. Her this, I'm going to straight up tell her. You can be a part of it, Bella, and in return, earn... I will do something that you want to do, like maybe, th like, and it will have to be through, like, FaceTime or something, and, like, I, but, like, she can throw, like, a challenge at me if she wants me to do, like, a challenge or something, and, like, I, um, let's see, 24 hours in contortion or something, and I'll, like, do it, but, like, obviously she won't see it until the video comes out. And then if she watches the video, she'll see it, but. I'm going to open this just because it is sunshiny and pretty out. And then, on top of it, like, but if she doesn't want to be a part of it, and what I mean by being a part of it is, I mean she has to let, if she can't do, put in the work one day, let's say, and she going to a friend's house last minute, you know, like, I at least, and like, she going to a friend's house and wanting to enjoy time with her friend, I mean, we're supposed to, like, work on it through FaceTime or something that day. Then just text me. Text me, like, I, hey, I can't do it this day, um, but I'm available this time on this day. And I would be like, okay. You know, like, we can reschedule it. Like, I'm fine when it comes to, like, like, understanding Bella's busy. And Bella's constantly doing something. Like, she's either, or, like, she's either at school or she's at tennis practice. Because right now, she does tennis. She went from cheerleading to Bella um, needs to commit to something. And I'm saying this as truthfully yeah, as possible because even her mom has brought it up, like, literally, the day that we did, like, a family Easter thing, and her mom said something, then, um, or, like, I went to get Bella the paper, because I had two copies of the ticket, which was for the worldwide, and it was, like, I was gonna give her one just to, like, kind of do a fun little way of, like, telling her that she could do one with, with me, you know, or like that week and stuff. Um, she could do them with me as she was down. But then, then what, what happened was, I'm like, it was a fun little thing. And, and then all of a sudden, we came back in and then, and, we were all, like, talking, and then, and we got onto the topic of dance, and, and, like, my mom was like, yeah, she's a dancer, you know, and that was mom straight up said, and it would be nice to see Bella commit to something like that, 
Um, instead, she like hops around, and that's not always a bad thing. I mean, she's experimenting, seeing what her thing is, but like, and it wasn't put in like a rude way. It still isn't. It's just kind of like. It would be cool to see her find her, like, main thing that she wants to do and what she wants her career to go in. And then stuff. You know, and then get to see her all excited and happy about it. And so, yeah, that would be, like, a nice little thing. But this is gonna, she can put in the work. Or, and I would say, like, we could, like, do this, like, with her channel and stuff, too. But, like, right now, I kind of, Bella doesn't really want to do social media, last I checked. Like, Bella's thing, like, it's that at one, and I feel bad in a way because I'm like I know wondering like it wasn't this summer but like last year you know like 2020 summer uh, we got on the topic of social media and she's like I yeah I love being in like people's videos and stuff but I kind of don't want to really do it and I'm like that at point why she's not putting in the work or can I'm like, that, if she doesn't want to do it, like, that's fine. Like, no one's making her do it. But at the same time, I'm like, if you're going to do it, be fully committed. Put in the work. Because if you don't want to do it and you're just doing that, like, a little side fun thing, you're taking that from someone else. And what I mean by that is when they're clicking on your video, and watching your video, someone out there wishes that they that that person was clicking on their video. You know, like you're taking it and it from someone who wants it when I mean, you don't really want it. You know, but if she wants it, then like go for it. Like live your best dream, Bella. Like figure out what you want to do and go for your dream. And don't let any amount of hate or anything stop you. But yeah, I'm excited to hopefully get started on this soon. I gotta try to get a hold of her. But right now she doesn't have a channel or any sort of social media right now. Right now, like, she has, doesn't have social media. Yeah. Because she's using her mom's phone. So in return, what I'm going to do is kind of a fun thing where I get the joy of watching my dreams come true. And this could really help me out a lot and get me to that thousands of times. Get me where I keep them and continue adding on and start getting paid, and I feel like the money is the thing that I'm, like, I'm excited, like, cause, like, if I hit 1,000 subscribers, I start getting paid, and that's really cool, but I feel like the thing that I'm even more excited about is the YouTube play button, because it, like, because YouTube play buttons are not cheap. Like, you can, if you look it up, you can actually look it up and, like, actually buy one. But it's not the same as, like, winning it, you know, and, like, receiving it as, like, a, an award and stuff. And stuff, like... Getting the award is, like, really the main part, you know? But they're, like, $3,000 to buy one. Like, they're expensive because they're, like, real gold and, like, they're all in this stuff. And it's really, like, I just want to see that happen to me. Like, I just want 
to like wake up one day and check my channel and see if that see that I have like a thousand subscribers or more, and then and like get the joy of like unboxing one and then it like saying like Andy fans forever or something. But for right now, the plan is just to keep the name Andy Fans forever for a really long time. At one point, I did try changing the name to Lolly's Fans Forever because the reason I came up with the name Andy Fans Forever is because I couldn't and say I couldn't say in my name Lolly, you know, like I I couldn't say Lolly so I would go by Andy and that was like how like it was I think yeah, so for me, it's like, um, I, I just dream, but I feel like for me, it's never, I'm the type that, I don't do what I do for the money, I don't do what I do for the likes and the views, that has nothing to do with it, I do it because I love it, and it's my dream, and it's me looking back and thinking, if I could go back in time, I'm um, like, if I could time travel, but, like, me from the future, if I could, like, I talk to my, like, five-year-old self again, like, go back and, like, have a full conversation and tell five-year-old me, like, where I am now, like, you know, like, and I would generally tell five-year-old me, and you keep begging to do social media. And you continue begging. And finally, when you're 13, almost 14, and after a bunch of stuff that you went through that I'm not allowed to talk about, but a lot of stuff, and not all of it was easy, you're going to get so jealous of Bella. And then that jealousy is going to cause you to go beg your parents one more time. And all of your dreams are going to happen from then. And that now, you're a dancer. You dance with, you have Zoom classes with Abby Lee Miller and her team. All of your dreams come true. All of them, except for one. And that one dream, well, um, that one dream that you had since you were five? Actually, no. I had this dream since I was seven. It will happen in the future. Just not yet. And that one, and then you're going to create so many new dreams and so many new goals. And then you're going to be able to say that these all come true. You work hard at them, they're gonna happen. They just haven't happened yet. That's why I would tell and what I mean by like since I was seven and that one dream being my being with my crush. But five year old me would not know anything about my crush. Cause at the time that I was five I would say, Yeah, my crush was only three. Yeah. And then, it, yeah, so, like, at this point, because I'm, it's so weird to me. It's very, very weird. Because when I first met my crush, not knowing how old he was or anything, I generally thought he was at least, like, eight or nine, potentially ten. I generally thought he was like 10 years old or older. And now, like, just because I feel like he's always been like 
I either average or kind of on the taller side. And I dream of him sometimes and it's weird. And right now. Yeah, I feel like there is something that I did want to say. And like I'm kind of thinking on like I today and I'm like I I kind of wonder why I've been so lucky and haven't really gotten any hate from social media. Yeah, I got one hate comment once on saying and I forget even what was it was something like I'm not even that bad. Uh, and that was generally because I was talking in about Abby, I feel like, Abby Lee Miller. In a video that was dedicated to Abby Lee Miller, I'm like a thank you because if it weren't for Abby, I wouldn't be dancing. You know, fun little thank you video. And then what ended up happening was like, I just realized, like, I've been really lucky. Like, I, like, going into this and, like, starting social media, I thought I would be getting a ton of hate because I feel like that's normal. Like, doing social media, like, doing what I do of social media, being a dancer, you know, like, all of this stuff. I feel like hate is normal, and you just gotta kind of forget about it and move on. But I've been really lucky, and I realize it's because I have a very likable personality. This is true, and this isn't me like bragging. I'm not trying to brag, but my dad even said something about that I don't think, I don't have a box. Like, there's an expression that people say that you probably heard, heard like, you, like, like, you need to think outside the box, or you think outside the box, or something. And, and the truth is, this, even my dad has said today, I don't have a box. Like, and what I mean by that, and the meaning behind the expression is, like, I, when you think inside the box, it means that you have a bunch of rules and stuff that you believe in, and you don't like to break them or anything, like, and it's, like, pointless rules. Like, not to, like, keep you from, like, doing bad things or anything, it's just, like, pointless rules. Mm. Versus people that think outside the box, when you're outside of the box, you don't have any. You just go for it and you figure things out. But yeah. Right now. Uh, tonight I'm gonna uh, try even harder to try to sleep in the bed by myself and then... If I can make it, it far enough, then, and like make it the whole night and stuff, then I'm doing it in here because I'm, or I'm going to try to work on that. Because right now, my dad does have a point, which is that it's not so much like playing into the fact that like I need to be able to sleep in my own room, like. It has nothing to do with, like, it has, like, well, it does, obviously, like, that plays into it, but it mainly plays into that now's a good time to work on that. That way, they, when they do die, because at this point, when, at this point, it probably got to happen in the next five years, as sad as that is to say, which means that they probably won't see me move to LA or anything or go for my dreams, but they'll always 
be with me, you know, like, don't worry, they haven't died, like, my parents are fine, but, like, especially my mom, because of her stroke, she, like, can't really walk and, like, move as well and stuff, but then, at this point, you also got to consider that they're both, like, in their 70s. My dad soon to be 80. I'm pretty sure my dad's like 75 or something. I don't know, to be on. And in fact, I don't know oh, how old my parents are. I just know they're in their 70s. And that way, when it does happen, I'll probably like go with like my brother or Like, we don't really know yet. Like, that someone will get me unless I am old enough to where I'm at an age where I don't really, where I can just live on my own then. Which, then I'll just live on my own situation. But someone will, in our family will, get me and stuff and that's fine. But at this point, that way, when it does happen, I don't have to get used to sleeping in a room by myself. I'm just already used to it. Peace out.